Hello, she girly girl love Gordon in life. And yes, I really, really do. Please subscribe to she girly girl love Gordon in life. I would love to have you there. Watch my gardening uh, channel. Like my gardening channel. And please leave me comments on my channel as well. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Hi. Hello, everyone. This is She Girly Girl Love Gardening Life. I love it. I really do love it. But H-Town, Texas here, it's going to have a storm coming out of way. Maybe by midnight, a tropical storm called Burl. And so we're just being prayerful that the storm will pass us over and not do a lot of damage here in H-Town. We're praying for that, uh, being very prayerful for the storm to pass. So uh, just keep H-Town in your prayers and we just hope, not hope, we pray that the storm passes by and that everything will be well with our land, with our properties, with our whatever we may have. I just pray that God put a hedge of protection all around us here in H-Town and that everything will be well with everyone in their, their homes and their land and uh, the cars and just us in general. Lord, protect us all from the storm. So it's supposed to hit at midnight and I'm sure I will be up dancing in the rain. Probably not, but I would want to be dancing in the rain, but I don't think that would be a good idea to do that. But I do love the rain. And I have my yellow boots on. So please, please, please love and watch my channel. I have so many things coming your way uh, with videos. And while the storm is coming between me and Pran, and uh, talking to Jesus, <laughs> having a little talk with Jesus, uh, studying my word of God. In between that, I'm gonna be trying to do my videos that I've been saying for uh, a while that I'm gonna be putting out and I just have not had the opportunity because I have been so busy uh, with life. And with that being said, I can work on my videos while the storm is coming in and I can also study the word of God as the storm comes in. So, I hope everyone is doing well today. In your life, I pray that everything is going well. So, whatever day, which it is Sunday for most of us, and if it's another day other than Sunday somewhere else, I hope you are having a fantastic, marvelous day. To God be the glory, and she girly girl, love, coordinate life, share support subscribe look at this oh it's about to fall Woo! i got it it does that the wind is going so please 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 subscribe share like co add comments to my post thumbs up i would love to see a thumbs up I would like to see a subscribe. So please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to visit and see what I have going. And she girly girl, love garden and life, backyard garden. And I'm probably gonna change my name. My family was talking about that today as we had uh, dinner together, lunch together, that I may need to shorten my name. So tell me what you think about it. Do you think I need to have a short, shorter name of my channel let me know what you think and she girly girl love gardening life before it comes to shore, but again, even mm -hmm. if it doesn't, it's gonna be right on that threshold. Not a lot of difference between a 70 and a 75 mile an hour system, tropical storm or hurricane, but 
Let's time out that northern band because that's when the weather really starts to get dangerous and it's dark and flooding and driving, blinding rain and tropical storm conditions with this northern band now uh, passing uh, Matagorda. But look at the central area. Convection is really starting to blow up. And that's why uh, in the next six hours or so with the center offshore, uh, it still could become a hurricane. And we've got the, the Air Force plane out there right now. We'll update you when they have some new data. So there's that northernmost band that has gone through Matagorda and Matagorda Bay and now uh, into the Freeport area. And we've got plenty of uh, buoy data out there with sustained tropical storm force winds. And these are the heavy rains that are now coming in through Palacios and they've got through the 33, and now that the heavy rain has come through Freeport, not yet to Galveston yet, but that is on the way. So this leading edge is what will be getting to Houston, say, a little bit after midnight. Mm -hmm. You're already gusting That's over 30 miles an hour at Galveston without having the thunderstorm, the band, to mix down more energy from a loft. But watch how with this general northward motion, about one o'clock in the morning, that northern band may be getting to I-10, getting to downtown Houston oh, and nice. be over Galveston Bay. And then maybe landfall occurs somewhere right at four or five o'clock mm. in the morning. Huh? But then yeah. when you get the system coming just to the west of Galveston Island at seven o'clock in the morning, you're gonna have the high astronomical tides and you'll have the really strong winds. Why now, it always want to come this way off the team? that the next advisory will have a 12-hour forecast point valid at 7 o'clock central tomorrow morning that will be inland. Oh and that will have a lower forecast intensity because it will be inland. But it could get stronger between now and then. So we still could have a hurricane before it comes ashore. And Dr. Knapp, what